in the following video we'll be looking at saving your project. We'll be looking at saving your project, saving files as a template, as well as setting up project protection. If you wish to save your project and you've saved your project previously, you can go up to the quick access toolbar and just click on the save button. Or alternatively, you can click on the control and the letter S on your keyboard and this will quickly save any changes you have made. If you haven't saved your project before, you need to click on the file tab, click on save as, and then choose which folder you want to save your project into. And in the file name, you can also change the name of your file. If you wish to save your project as a different type of file, you can go down the drop down menu here and select a different alternative. For example, if I want to export some of my data into an Excel spreadsheet, I can select Excel workbook here. So if I regularly use this type of project and I want to save a project outline to save myself time in the future doing the project right from the start, I can also save my project as a template. And to do this, I just need to save my project as a project template, change the name of my project, but I'll leave that as arranging a party, and then press save and the save as template box will pop up and project will prompt you to remove some of your data and to save a more um, generic outline so you can just remove some of your baselines, actuals, resources, fixed costs and if I press save so this is now saved as a project template and to access some of your project templates you can go up to the file tab and if you go into new and if you go into my templates you can see here that you already have a template set up so you can quickly start using the project outline to enter your new project information in addition if I want to add some security and protection to my project I can go into, if I go into the file tab, save as, and if I go into this tools button here, in general options, here I can add a password to my project. And the protection password field, you need to enter in a password, so when someone opens the file, it will prompt them to enter this type of password. And in the right reservation password, this is when the file will open in a read-only mode, but you can only edit or just make changes to your project if you enter the correct password. So if you want to add in a password, you just need to enter these, the passwords here. But hopefully that gave you a bit of insight into how to save your project as well as setting up project templates as well as adding some sort of security and protection for your project.